Okay, welcome to the Aston Spirit. I've only admired this mic from afar. I know a lot of people that have it, including a few fellow students of mine, but I've never actually heard it myself. So this speaking is the first time I've actually heard it. But I do know a lot of notable artists that use it and I'll list them on the screen. Aston itself notes that it is super transparent, has a super smooth response, and it is notable for how quiet it is. So I have another microphone that boasts the exact same things. And by this point, you already know it. It's the Rode NT1. It's the one I compare all these other mics to because it's the only one I own. You should so the only notable difference in the way these two are marketed is the Aston likes to note its really smooth high-end response, whereas the Rode NT1 is a relatively flat mic with only a really small boost around the 7K range. What this means is the Rode NT1 talks about its mid-range clarity a lot, and the Aston talks about its high-end clarity a lot. And yes, I guess it's more, I guess they made it kind of like for pop. Yeah, I mean, for the Aston? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. And to be honest, the Rode NT1 is no slouch when it comes to famous artists that use it as well. Here's a list of famous artists that have used the Rode NT1 or the Rode NT1A in the past. By the way, before we keep going, this is always a weird thing for me, but I think you should subscribe if you like these. Ah, me. I'm not doing that. I feel like this picks up so much of the room in the mics, but it never comes through whenever I export it. Your monitor? Like, yeah. You can hear everything? Yes. Yeah. 100%. But yeah, it doesn't pick it up when you actually record yeah. So on top of what the manufacturer says these mics are good at, there's also some notable different features between these two mics. So the Aston has tons of bells and whistles. It has an omni mode, meaning it can pick up a full circle around the microphone. And it also has figure of eight, which means you can record from both sides. Whereas the Rode NT1 is just cardioid, bare bones, cardioid only. The Aston also has a negative 20 dB cut and a negative 10 dB cut. And as well, it has a high pass filter built into it. Also, what's really cool is these wavy bits that you see on the microphone, those are the shock mounts. They've integrated the sound absorption into the microphone hardware itself, so you don't need a shock mount. Also built in is a pop filter. Do you see all this silver mesh behind the waviness? That's a pop filter, so you also don't need a pop filter. The Rode NT1 is no slouch when it comes to the shock mount either though. This is a Rycote Liar shock mount, which is crazy high quality when you actually think about the fact that this is $170 less than the Aston is. This pop filter is a metal mesh pop filter, which is also extremely desirable for one simple fact. Whenever you speak into this thing, the air molecules go in and then they're diverted down. What this means is there's a lot less air hitting the capsule itself in the first place. One of the reasons why this microphone is so quiet. Really like that clap. Sounds good. It's, just, it's a good clapping microphone. Besides that though, there's no bells and whistles on the road. It's just a cardioid. There's no cut. There's no pad. It's just a mic. So at this point, we're going to hear the track itself. You guys have been through this before. If you've been on the channel, we're going to do a vocalist with a track. We're going to have a singer sing the exact same thing a cappella, and then we're going to do a blind guitar hearing test. So singing this will be the amazingly talented Jesus Pineda. Yeah? Yeah. All right. And here's some of his music right now. Momento en que yo venía cuando la soledad te comía, te quitaba todo, venías cansada después de todo un largo día. Yo pensaba. From the moment you're approaching me. I'm trying to decide who to be Looking for which mask to wear Not showing my own self I know you're wearing one too My mind splits into two Choosing which me for you it's crowded up there just like you And I just want to see If I can show you the real me But how that can be If I'm crowded with everyone I meet Is it everyone? Or is it just me? <laughs> From
From the moment you're approaching me I'm trying to decide who to be Looking for which mask to wear Not showing my own self I know you're wearing one too My mind splits into two Choosing which me for you it's crowded up there just like you and i just want to see if i can show you the real me but how that can be if i'm crowded with everyone i meet is it everyone Or is it just me? So you have now heard both of these mics on voiceover, vocals, and on a guitar. It's up to you to make your decision on which one you prefer. I've had the Rode NC1 for four years now and I love it to death, but this mic sounds amazing. So if you enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.